people, 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 people. Que pasa, sa, pa, say what they do. Now, the first thing that is popping in the news is that people, we say, say the thief, them, they are out there all about, they are on a rampage. And they are creating chaos and catastrophe in Jamaica. They are praying on the legal, law abiding, hard working persons of Jamaica. They are grab them bag, they are stick them up with all sorts of pie pie. And people, this is an next example of exactly what is going on in Jamaica as it pertains to these beer face thieves. So people, I got this video and I don't know if it is Jamaica, it kind of looks like it. So therefore, if it is somewhere else, I know I have my critics and they are going to say, yo, but you know, Sierra Trinidad, however, the message is still the same. So people, take a listen, take a look at this video and then I'll give my peace. Now, people, when we look at a video like this, it shows you the type of ahinary and two-foot posting that is going on in Jamaica. It shows you how beer fierce these teeth is, and people like me say, I cannot validate that this is indeed Jamaica. However, the message is still the same. It shows you that these people don't have any sort of morals or scruples because this man walked past the people them gate, walked past a car that had somebody, an occupant, a driver or whatever in it, and him go and him grab the bag from this person and pull them down and take for himself. Now, in this video, we also saw that the person that was driving, they basically chased off of him. And I think, based on what I see, it looked like them basically run him over. And people like me say, the video kind of cut off. So, therefore, it is inconclusive. So, me can't say him lick him down. However, based on the fact that he was in front of the Jeep, and the Jeep looked like it basically lick him down, I hope that is the case. Now, when we look at videos like this and we see what is going on in Jamaica and people like them say, desperate times calls for a desperate measure. I think that all legal, law-abiding, tax-paying citizens in a Jamaica who qualify for a firearm should get one and protect yourself because obviously we see say, all of the wrong people, them have them fire piece. So therefore, if you don't protect yourself, if you don't put any sort of insurance policy upon yourself and safeguard yourself, you are always going to be a victim because as it stands right now, we see so if you call the popo, it is going to take them at least an hour or more, if them even show up. So people can't really blame the popo because it is lack of resources, lack of care, lack of gas, lack of everything. So people, it only shows you the desperate situation that these popo are operating in. So therefore, the residents, the citizens of Jamaica need to basically help the popo and wipe out some of them people here. Because if the person that was in the Jeep, if he had a fire piece, that man could have easily ended up in the right place where he belongs may I talk about modern point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before i move to the next part of my video please subscribe to my next channel it is called jamaica dance our source one word i'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video and also subscribe to this channel through jamaica buzz and when you subscribe please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option now the next thing that is popping in the news is that we saw that there was a major operation in Seaview Gardens we are speaking about in St. Andrew to find some sort of illegal weapon we are talking about firearm we are talking about talop. And based on the information, it is said that this was conducted by the Specialized Operation Unit. And people, if you don't know anything about this unit, it is a unit that was lately formed by the Pope or the Commissioner. We are speaking about the Justice Minister, the Security Minister, Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Bling. Now, based on the information, it is said that this operation took about four hours and it ended at about 5 p.m. And based on the report, it is said that a Taros pistol 
and also a next revolver at 38 and also a next revolver with the serial number erased so people are talking about three pi pi so far and also an ak-47 rifle with an empty magazine now people let me ask you a question when we talk about these stupid gangster when we talk about these broke gangster this seems to be a case because you have an ak-47 and you have no sort of ammunition we are talking about it done now, based on the information, it is also said that at least 30 other rounds of 9mm were also found. And two men were arrested. We are speaking about 26-year-old Roland Bowles and also 22-year-old Jesse Garden. So, people, those are the two persons and they are said to be residents of the same area. May I talk about Seaview Gardens? The information also revealed that Mr. Garden was also charged with possession of identity information. We are talking about some lead sheet that was found in his possession. So people, based on this information, it is obvious that there is some sort of scamming link. And it seems like the scammers from Montego Bay, St. James, all over the place, they are running to volatile areas. We are talking about some garrison community. And when them reach, they are taking their trade. They are taking their tools of the trade. We are talking about the Pi Pi, and we are also speaking about the A to the K. We are talking about some tall, dangerous rifle. So people, that is what we see going on in Jamaica. We see that the crime thing is spreading all over the place. And once Montego Bay and St. James get hot, them basically move to other area and them take them dirty works and their dirty job and they bring it with them. And that is why we see all sorts of crime situation. And that is why we see as it pertains to dancehall artist Dexter Dabs, we saw that the Popo launched some sort of information because based on what is going on, it is said that the Popo were speaking about the specialized operation unit. They were acting on some sort of information or intelligence. So people like them say, they scammer them there, them they there so, them they over there so, them they any and everywhere point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that the chairman of the Popo Federation, I am speaking about Patre Rowe, he launched a verbal assault on the whole of Jamaica. I am speaking about Indicom, I am speaking about Jamaican for Justice, I am speaking about the parliamentarian, I am speaking about the public, I am speaking about bloggers. He said that Jamaica is a very ungrateful country. So people, this was said at the send-off for Constable Decardo Hilton. We are speaking about one of those three popo that were taken out. Now, people, I am going to let you listen to the video and then I'll give my piece. Unease because he joined the police force, which pays an annual salary of $840,000 per year, or a meager $70,000 per month. Unease because he joined to serve and reassure the people of Jamaica who showed disrespect and disregard for the service of police officers. Unease because he served an ungrateful country that cannot appreciate that it is out of love and sheer commitment why anyone could leave the safety of their homes, sleep deprived, and work long hours to make someone else safe. Unease because he work in poor conditions, he work in any weather, in present and clear danger, which eventually led to his death. Unease because there are groups within this country that profess to be human rights group, who are not Jamaicans interested in justice, but Jamaicans against the police who are only interested in status and international funding who have never spoken out against any injustice against the police but provide a platform for criminals to, pro pro to profess their mandacious accounts. <clears throat> Unease because if he was charged while exercising an honest function with alleged miscalculated judgment, he would have faced with legal fees upward of three million dollars suspended from work and pay at the risk of losing his house family 
and placed in a position of destitution with no support from government. <laughs> Unease because people, even parliamentarians, refer to us as killers because it is popular to do and try to appease supposedly independent commission who is more interested in proving the public perception true rather than showing the evidence. Now people, when we think about a person like the Popo Federation, Patrero, and I understand that he is representing the Popos, therefore it is in his job description to represent them at all costs. However, when you put out a false agenda out there, because the truth and the fact that don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued, it is not like it has not been proven by international organization that says that Popo in Jamaica is violating people's human rights and all sorts of rights. It is also proven, it is documented that Jamaica was the worst place on planet Earth. As it pertains to extrajudicial, we are talking about slap away of Popo, they were number one, meaning the worst. So therefore, there are documentation, there are evidence, and don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. This was not the place for that because, like we say, this was the final send-off for this person condolences to his family however when you take a place like this for launch that sort of assault you know what you are doing you are trying to make it very effective however so when we analyze as it pertains to indicom after indicom basically went into full effect 2014 2018 the way that Jamaica was looked upon was looked upon differently. We are speaking about more positive. It was no longer the worst. It kind of improved and it saw that people were making effort because of Indicom. For basically, calm down. We are talking about the popo slap away in a Jamaica. So that is Indicom. As it pertains to Jamaica for justice, Jamaica for justice is not against the popo. They are against the criminal popo like Indicom. That is Indicom's job. So my point is that if Indicom and Jamaica for justice was not monitoring the popo, they would have been doing the same thing that they were doing before 2013, 2015. Now, as it pertains to the parliamentarian, we saw that they said that they are going to amend the Indicom Act. And basically, in this act, they said that Indicom could not be held liable for anything that happened between 2013, 2014, more specifically, to 2018, when they used to charge the Popo, arrest and prosecute the Popo. That law has been amended and Indicom can no longer prosecute, charge or whatever the Popo. So we are talking about Indicom right there. So we are speaking about Parliament. We are speaking about Jamaica for justice. Now as it pertains to the public and bloggers, people, if people feel like they are being wrong, they are always going to basically lick out. They are going to stand up for them right. And that is what somebody like me, a blogger on YouTube, that is what I do. I kind of lick out against the popo that are creating havoc in a Jamaica. May I talk about the criminal popo. However, I also give credit where credit is due. So Mr. Patrick Rowe, don't act as if people don't see. Don't act as if you are blind. And like I said before, this was not the place however he knew what he was doing and as it pertains to the poor poor them in a jamaica and them pay our salary everybody can agree to that that they are underpaid and overworked however this is a poor country and when you sign up for something you don't basically start to talk about the rules and regulation in the middle because you knew exactly what the pay scale was however a lot of persons are out there that are not getting paid and we understand that the pay thing is not balanced because we say people in america people in a first world country may i talk about the popo sorry they are getting properly paid where them can live a decent life however this is not america jamaica is a poor country so therefore until the parliamentarian and these politicians stop thiefing money and basically manage the country's affair better until these popo start doing them job until we get rid of the criminals, Jamaica place is going to be the same because I just saw the thing said and I am not saying that it is right. Me just said it is the fact. It is what it is. 
point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up